Hey guys, it's Jason. And I know a lot of my fans that follow my YouTube channel love um, learning about decentralization. They love applications that utilize decentralization, peer-to-peer -peer networking. And so I found a new application that I've been using for like the last six months. And I want to, you know, talk about it. So there's this coin, or not coin, <laughs> there's this application called Twister. And no, it's not the game you play. It's a, a decentralized tweeting system. So a lot of us know about Twitter. And we also know the sad part of Twitter. Twitter loves to take down messages um, requested by the host country. So for instance, um, Turkey has asked Twitter to take down messages and tweets of protesters, pictures as well. And Twitter, you know, because they want the business of all those in Turkey, they take down those tweets. And that saddens a lot of us in the free world because especially someone from America, I love the free speech, I love the First Amendment, I love the idea that even if we disagree, even if we hate what you're talking about, we're willing to give you a microphone. We're willing to let you speak your mind, to talk to others, to speak your ideology. And while I might not agree with it, I might disagree, actually. I'm 100% in, in favor of giving you the microphone, letting you speak your mind, and letting you know your voice be heard if other people want to hear it. And Turkey and a lot of other countries are you know, requesting Twitter, and Twitter is <laughs> letting that happen. You know, Twitter says, oh, okay, yeah, we'll take down your tweets. And it's so sad, right? I mean, that, it, it, it's sad. And so right now, you know, Twitter will take down tweets, even in America, of certain, like, illegal things, right? Say you're trying to sell drugs or whatever. And I, I don't want to get into ethical talk about, you know, t tweeting about if you're going to sell drugs and where you're going to be at because that's a whole other argument. But Twister kind of takes this, the whole centralization out of it. They take the ability to delete a tweet out of the equation. So when you have a centralized server and everybody, you know, from your messaging apps, from your iPhone, from your computer, you're sending tweets to Twitter and they're, you know, then sending out to users from their server, which is a centralized model. A decentralized model is, you know, I might have a tweet and I, I tweet it and it goes into what we call a blockchain and then that blockchain gets downloaded and you're know, shared by every single user on the network. So then everybody has everyone's tweets and they can't be deleted. And I think this is a great thing for, um, you know, protests. It's a great thing for people out, you know, in, you know, in countries where free speech isn't free speech, and it allows them to speak their mind and allow, you know, freedom and ideologies that have been suppressed to come up, right? But I also want to talk about the ethical decisions of an idea of a twister. So we talked about this before, you know, what happens is a government actually, they try to stop one thing and they actually force a whole other progression into something else. So right now with Twitter, you know, Twitter would be fine. If they, if they didn't take down free speech stuff, it'd be great because, you know, for instance, Twitter will take down anything that's illegal, like, for instance, say, you know, child pornography. Twitter will take down that because, obviously, we don't want that circulating on the internet. Well, with an idea like Twister, it's all decentralized. So because the government has said, well, we don't want, you know, protesting information, we don't want you to protest and then talk about on, on, online, we don't want you to post pictures on Twitter, they've blocked Twitter or they've taken down Twitter accounts. And so people, you know, protesters, and many people are moving to Twister. They're moving to decentralized um, communication devices. Well, the problem with this is because governments have stopped the free speech, because they think they're stopping free speech, you know, they're, and they're protecting their government, they're opening up a, a, um, what we call Pandora's box. Because we, we, once we open an idea like Twister, which is already open, it's already being used vastly by many people, you can't close anything. There's nothing that you can stop. You know, you can't stop anything that gets posted to Twister. And it, it brings up an ethical debate. You know, literally, you could post or comment or say anything on Twister. And guess what? No one can take you down. It's a Pandora's box that's already been opened. And so people have been asking. I've got actually a few emails because I've been talking about this online about how much I think Twister is a great idea for protesters. But I'm kind of, you know, a little iffy on not being able to delete anything. And many of you, I don't know if you know, I, I tweeted this on my Twitter account that I actually have a Twister account. I have no followers right now, so if you guys want to go follow me, please go follow me. That'd be great. Um, but, you know, we, I, I want to talk about this ethical thing, too. So a lot of people have said, you know, well, this is exactly what the governments don't understand. You know, if you want to block, uh, like Twitter, they want, they want to conform to, to all these different, you know, oppressive governments. Well, by doing that, you've opened the Pandora's box to push people to an idea like Twister. And guess what? You're not going to be able to stop anything now. You know, that's what happens when you don't want to open up free speech. And people ask me, well, what's your opinion on Twister? Well, I love Twister. I love it because I love this idea. It's like, I, I love Bitcoin and stuff, and I love the idea. But I think, honestly, 
more important than Bitcoin and all these other altcoins, I think what was the biggest invention in the Bitcoin and cryptocurrency realm was the blockchain. This idea that um, forever before Bitcoin, there's always been this worry about how do we host information but trust the source? You know, how do we trust that someone isn't altering the source? Well, suddenly a user, anyone in the world, can upload something. You know, it's a lot more complex with Bitcoin because you have to go into programming. But to upload something to the blockchain, that guess what? No one ever will be able to delete out of the blockchain. It's there permanently. And, you know, there's a couple people that have talked about, you know, how you could put birth certificates in that. You could put, you know, documents, contracts, um, Colored coins is a huge idea of this. Colored coins is a way that allows you know property management through a decentralized model. And Twister is the decentralized version of Twitter. If you haven't checked it out, go check it out. It's incredible. It's really cool. Kind of buggy because it's still in beta. I think it might even be in alpha. Um, I heard about it. I tried it. I'm like, wow, this is kind of interesting. I haven't got any followers. I haven't found anyone that I want to follow that's um, actually providing interesting content. So if you do, send me an email because I'd love to find, follow, find and follow those people. But yeah, guys, go check out Twister um, and tell me, what's your opinion? Do you like this idea of a decentralized Twitter or do you think it goes too far uh, without having any central oversight? I'd like to know. Have a great day.